who's watching? Hey everybody, it's Vivian and uh, Dandelionessa hopefully will make an appearance tomorrow. It's a little rainy today, so uh, the dandelions didn't even show their heads. I looked out of my yard and I thought, I don't think I even have any dandelions in my yard <laughs> because usually their yellow heads are very apparent. So no dandelions today. Uh, we're going to continue the violet uh, presentation. And one thing I didn't mention yesterday, if you do have violets in your yard, you do want to pick them in the early to mid morning hours before the harsh sun hits them. And that's going to help preserve their essential oils, which is their aromatic properties. Those are also known as secondary metabolites. It's what the flower produces and it's where the medicine uh, resides in the flower. So if you remember yesterday, I picked a bunch of violets. I would need a violet field to have picked two cups of violets. I only yielded about a half a cup. So it's never a good idea to probably, you know, augment a recipe on the fly because I'm hoping you'll see purple and then you're hoping you'll see the violet tea turn pink but who knows because I'm changing all the parameters of the recipe I'm like oh just one third this by everything and I'm not sure <laughs> if it's gonna work or not so who knows what might happen live but if we fail together we'll just rise together so um what I've done just in preparation is I've made a simple syrup you can see that it was really hard to get this set up and everything that I'm doing so you can see what I'm doing but this is not sugar I actually used monk fruit monk fruit so I wasn't sure how this was gonna dissolve I don't know if the monk fruit also is part or the sugar component is also part of the chemical reaction for this whole tea preparation but I'm gonna give it a shot because I really do try not to use sugar or, and I, I, I just enjoy finding different ways to bake. So I try a lot of gluten-free things as well. But this is monk fruit. If you've ever, or if you've never heard of monk fruit, monk fruit is an option for sweetener. And it, look, it says, measures like sugar. So I'm gonna go with it. I also use coconut sugar for a lot of things, but this just dissolved like simple sugar. So I already um, combined the sugar and the water and dissolved it and I let it cool because that's what the recipe calls for. So, like I said, I changed the amounts a little bit, but I do have six cups of water here. It's supposed to be a total of eight cups. I have my lemon juice uh, prepared. And again, that called for fresh squeezed lemon juice, one and a quarter cups. That would probably take about, I usually yield about two tablespoons of lemon juice per one lemon. So I would be hand squeezing a ton of lemon juice. So I cheated and I have bottled lemon juice for other recipes that I make um, and um, I have it measured there. But here is the violet tea. That's all it yielded, that's, what, that's it. Just that little bit of purple, but we're gonna see. Now they recommend you line your sieve or your strainer with a paper towel, but I don't wanna waste paper towel and I have a really fine sieve here. So I guess it's just to catch the other particulate matter but i'm not that particular <laughs> i'm not that worried i'm not that worried so i'm just gonna pour it right in here yeah and i can see that it is blue oh my gosh it's amazing i purposely wore white to hopefully to show you guys up against i didn't want to wear a dark color because oh my gosh i hope you can see this can you see that that is freaking incredible if i put under the light can you see it more can't really tell where okay can you see it back there but even if I bring it up close that is straight up sapphire like they said it would be and that's just from the flowers here so my hands are clean and I guess with the paper towel what is recommended is you probably could just squeeze paper towel but I can use the back of a spoon to mush out I know it's really hard to get everything I wanted you guys to see it but I can just squeeze the rest of the flowers here with the back of my spoon Wow, that violet is gorgeous. I can't believe it. It really is that beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys again because I oh, wish you were here with me in person. Look, purple water. Hey, Lauren, thanks for watching and saying hey. Yeah, so there it is. So all that is the last step. They say just to put that in last. So they say to put in the sugar water in my six cups. I know I'm cutting my head off too, but that's okay. So I just have a canister big enough 
you know what? This is what happens live. My canister is not going to be big enough. So I am going to, no fun, I'm not going to be able to show you and I can't pause the live video and my two stools that I would use to get the larger canister are holding my camera. So if you would be patient, I'm going to try to, well what I'll do for now at least is I will put the purple water in this pan here because it looks like there's some sugar left over there. So I just want to get all that sweetener out and... I don't know how I'm going to get the bigger canister. I clearly need more than this. Hmm. Anybody have any suggestions of what I should do? Will you hang on till I get my step stool and get a larger canister? I'll be right back. Do a little commercial break. Go use the bathroom. Whatever you need to do. But stay with me. I'll be right back. I have to get a bigger canister. So just hold on. This is what happens live. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. This is what happens live. Okay, I'm back, but not ready yet. I gotta get my, I gotta get a bigger, the stuff above the, the stuff above the refrigerator that you never think you need to use. So you put it way up high where you don't need to reach it. Okay, I'm back. Good thing is these canisters are clean and ready to go. Yeah, and they're covered. So I'm gonna carefully it's really full. I'm just going to dump that one into there. Okay. Probably total of eight cups. So this is a one and a half liter jar. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and it's too small for what I need to do. Okay. So where were we? I was just cleaning out that little pan because I want that little leftover monk fruit sweetener that I made into simple syrup. And there's my violet tea. Yay, and that's the last thing we're gonna add. It really is beautiful violet sapphire, like they said. Hey, Natty, thanks for watching. Caught me live. So then, it's the last step. So then, lemon juice, simple syrup, and water, right? So there's my mixture. Let's see if this plus this turns pink. Here we go. First time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it really does, it turns pink! Yay! I mean, you would think maybe because you're just like diluting the purple, but I mean, I'm gonna take the camera down now that, I did, now that I've done everything. So maybe in a different light you can really see. Pink, do you guys see that it's pink? Yay, we did it! Pink lemonade made with violet tea. You're welcome to taste it. I can leave you a little bit on my porch contact-free pickup. Come get it. So pick your violets again mid-morning to early morning to mid-morning before the harsh sun has uh, dried them a little bit. You still want the volatile essential oils in the petals. And then you're going to pour boiling water over your violets. Let them sit for about 24 hours overnight and then continue this process like I just did. This time I will post the link in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and let me know if you decide to make violet tea and how it turns out. Thanks so much guys. Have a great midweek hump day Wednesday. See you soon. Bye.